Hi friends and welcome to my channel. I just got back from the couple of days away for the 4th of July. This is going to be an amazing Sunday meal prep and get it all done with me. I have a car full of stuff right in front of me. That's why I'm in my driveway. Ready to unpack, screaming kids, and a list of things I want to prep for the week. So come along and enjoy the ride. Obviously the first thing I want to do is start the laundry and then unpack the car. Unfortunately, I did have a few dishes left over from last I was at the house, so I had to enter the dishwasher and put things away. It may seem silly to put things away before I put th anything that I used while I was traveling away, but I just feel like an uncluttered area helps me to clear my mind and put the things away that I just used. Here I'm just filling up some empty clear water bottles that I like to keep in my fridge for a nice cold glass of water. I do also have a couple other water bo bottles that don't match, but our water is uh, filtered and the filter just has a tank and it's actually not cold because it sits in the tank. It's nice to just have a cold water bottle on hand and not have to buy reusable or Sorry, disposable water bottles. Here you see that I actually used up all the water in the tank. It will fill back up. Then I just wanted to make some iced tea, so I put some hot water on the kettle. I always like to get things started for something else and then in the meantime, like while that water is boiling, I'm putting things away. That way I'm making the most of my time. Now that my water is boiled, I'm going to use six plain black tea bags from Lipton. You could use any type you really want. I'm using my eight cup measure so there's lots of space and just pouring the entire boiling kettle over the tea bags. I'm going to let this sit for about an hour to kind of steep and make it concentrate. Anyone else feel like they wash down their countertops about 20 times a day? I feel like I just wash and rewash. It might be because mine are white. <laughs> We had a lot of leftover food from the holiday, but the way I see it, it's better to have too much than too little. 
I really like to get everything out of my bags once I get home. That way when I go to use it next time, I'm not finding random things inside of it. Some of these items, like the juice boxes, I'm actually going to reuse for our upcoming vacation. Time to unload the laundry. And start a new load. When I decided to make the tea, I realized how dirty my stove top was, so I wanted to give it a nice deep clean. Inside and underneath the um, little pans there, it was there was a lot of crumbs in there, so I figured I might as well just vacuum it out. And then actually wipe underneath, which I'm not sure I've ever done because it was pretty nasty under there. Then I just popped the top of those pans into the dishwasher. Yes, this is my third bag that I'm unloading. I actually have a nickname of the bag lady. So anywhere I go, I do tend to carry a lot of bags of stuff. But let's just say I'm prepared. I'm never without something that I needed. You really, I realize you might also be seeing this tiny little tattoo on the side of my arm and wondering what the heck that is. Uh, we definitely use the 4th of July tattoos with the kids and that did not rub off yet. So, looking a little silly. Time to take down the 4th of July pot holders. Just put up some generic stuff. I had an American flag one there before. Now that my tea has steeped, it's time to pour it in here and real life stuff has caused a mess. I'm not sure if it's because the tea bags were in there or if it has something to do with the eight cup measure. That, that measure usually works really well, so I think it's the tea bags. I probably should have taken them out. I was just being lazy. You see that fills up my pitcher quite a bit. but I am gonna fill it to the top with water. If you like sugar or lemon in that, go ahead and put it in. I just like mine plain. Now that I've actually emptied all my bags, I am going to make some breakfast for the week. I'm starting with the Starbucks Coffee Cat Egg Bites. You're gonna need cottage cheese, eggs. I'm using turkey bacon, but you could use regular bacon or ham. I'm actually using the leftover star cheddar cheese that I used on my cheese board this past weekend. I do not like wasting food. So I'm gonna make one and a half times the recipe. And I'm gonna use our turkey bacon here. So just cutting it open. And when I'm cooking with any sort of bacon, I actually just like to microwave it. Um, if I'm making it for something that I need it extra crispy, I will use the air fryer or the oven or pan. But in this case, it doesn't really matter the texture of it and it's a lot easier and faster for me to just pop it in the microwave. So you just lay the bacon on a microwave safe plate on top of some paper towels, cover it up and pop it in the microwave. I think that went for about six minutes. For one and a half times this recipe that is located in my meal plan and that will be in the description box below, I'm using one cup of cottage cheese. I'll be using one cup of this cheddar cheese, which I need to grate. I saw in a video one time 
that you should grate cheese this way. You'll notice my cheese grater is kind of on its side. And I do find that it's a lot easier than holding the cheese grater upright. I'm not sure why, but it seems like physics wise it works. I was lucky to get actually a little bit more than a cup of the cheddar. So I just placed that into my Nutribullet. You could use a any sort of blender, even a food processor, and I'm just gonna save the rest of that cheese for later. Wiping down the counter again. Now I'm gonna use eight eggs. So I apologize, earlier I said one and a half times the recipe, I'm actually doing two times the recipe. So you just take this and you blend it for about 60 seconds. Then I'm gonna cut up and add my bacon. I'm just cutting the bacon really with no sort of plan at all. I'm sure you could be a little more deliberate about it. The idea is just so that it's in smaller pieces, but I will actually be placing this back on the Nutribullet so it doesn't matter too much. So you just blend it for a few seconds, really. It doesn't take long. I'm leaving it kind of upside down because I want the bacon to blend in. The bacon does tend to sink to the bottom. Here I have my silicone molds. I did get these on Amazon. I can link them below. They're kind of important to making the egg bites. I did buy them specifically for these, but I tend to make the egg bites um, at least once a week, so they've definitely they're definitely worth it if we're not purchasing food out. So I'm just spraying this down with a little bit of coconut oil spray, but you could use any type of spray that you wanted. And then I'm using this little cookie scoop. I just like using the scoop when I'm making anything like a muffin, anything where I want everything to be the same size. I think my only issue would be that these cups actually need me to go through probably twice with the uh, one and a half tablespoon scoop. So I might be looking into getting a larger scoop that's kind of the right size for doing this. As I get there, you notice that I'm kind of digging down the bottom. I'm trying to get to the bacon to make sure that it's all mixed in appropriately. And this adds to a lot of dripping. If you have any ideas on how to avoid this or you've made these before and you have an awesome plan or way to handle it, uh, please let me know. I would love to know. Just go ahead and comment and I will read it. You really wanna try and just get all of them as even as possible. It's not always gonna work, but try your best. I'm gonna try and wipe off all of the extra drops on here just because they're gonna cook unevenly and it's just not gonna look good. So the recipe I have says to put a foil 
uh, wrapper over it, but I have these nice silicone tops. I'm not sure if the person that wrote the recipe doesn't have those. I just put them nice and tightly sealed and then you have to put them um, un unevenly. You actually just saw right there. If they're right on top of each other perfectly, apparently they come out kind of funny shaped. This set also came with this awesome little thing so you can lift them in and out, which is great. I'm setting it for steam for 10 minutes. All right, now I'm making my air fryer bacon. This is at 365 for 10 minutes and then I'm flipping it at five minutes. I am gonna use this for some salads through the week as well as breakfast sandwiches if we wanna make them. It really does come out nice and crispy. I'm moving on to making my protein muffins as well as starting another load of laundry. Sorry, protein bagels. Just preheating the oven to 400. While that heats up, I'm taking advantage of the time. A few days at the beach with the family does cause a lot of laundry. So here I am making one and a half times the recipe. This recipe is also linked in my blog, my meal plan. I am using three eggs. I believe it is nine tablespoons of water. one and a half scoops of plain protein. I have not tried it with flavored. Three tablespoons of almond flour. Three tablespoons of flaxseed. It has to be ground flaxseed. and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix all it together, all of it together. It definitely is very liquid, but it cooks up quite nice. This is where the donut pan comes into play. Again, I'm just spraying it down with my coconut oil spray. I actually get that at the Dollar Tree. And here I'm just gonna use a ladle. So my egg bites are ready, so the timer calls. These actually came out perfect this time. Well, I let those cool, we can finish this up and get these in the oven. So I'm just using a ladle to pour this into my pan. If you make one and a half times a recipe, it makes perfect six bagels. These bagels are high protein and low carb. I have used them with cream cheese as well as with a bagel sandwich and they're delicious. Here I'm just adding some everything bagel seasoning. I've actually wanted to try it maybe with some blueberries and see if I can get my kids to eat them. I have not tried that yet. I did make a mistake and pour them into the pan without putting them on top of a sheet pan. It's difficult to move them once they're in there, so I do recommend putting them on a sheet pan to start. Now that we're done with that, I'm popping my egg bites out. And my bagels are done after 15 minutes in the oven at 400. coming together kind of at the same time. The egg bite molds also come with this nice little spoon that pulls them right out without any issues. I'm not sure why my top egg bites came out perfectly shaped and the bottom were a little funky. I always say they kind of look like turnovers or Yorkshire puddings. 
Either way, these are delicious. I did try them. The bagels look awesome. If you look at them, they're a little bit thin. They definitely are not 100% a traditional bagel, but they do the trick. Once everything is cooled, I am just popping them into some containers and I'll keep them in the fridge. In the meantime, I did go out to my garden and pick some lettuce. This time of year, we have a lot of fresh vegetables from our garden, which definitely helps keep our food costs down. You see, I have a little helper here. Lettuce is really easy to grow. They even have like little arrow gardens. And I know a friend that grows lettuce in her house, in her kitchen year round. Once I wash my lettuce, I'm just gonna place it into these awesome little food storage containers that I have that are great for vegetables. And that way I'm gonna have lettuce for my salads through the week. With the lettuce that I had kind of broken up, I am going to make salads for our lunch. We're gonna have a chicken BLT uh, ranch salad on, I think it's Tuesday. You might wanna check the meal plan to validate. I, to be honest, I have to check my own blog to check my meal plan sometimes. But what I say is at least I wrote it down somewhere. So we have some tomatoes. That bacon that I had cooked up in the air fryer, I'm just chopping it up. It's nice and crispy. It's perfect for a salad. I feel like bacon in a salad, if it's cooked right, it's kind of like a nice alternative to a crouton. Like it gives it that crunch, that's something extra um, without being a heavy carb, especially the turkey bacon. It's very low calorie and it gives a lot of flavor. I'm just gonna grill the chicken for the salad. I haven't marinated it or anything, but I'm just putting some olive oil, salt, garlic pepper, garlic pepper, garlic salt, garlic powder, and pepper. Just make sure to season both sides. I'm not pretending to be perfect here. I have to cut the chicken to see and make sure that it's done. I just don't want to mess around with chicken that's not cooked through all the way. All right, these salads are gonna be all set for Dan and I for the week. And I do have a couple extra chicken breasts that will be ready for us 
for other needs as well. We will be having another salad, I just don't wanna make it yet. And the last but not least here, after making all those dishes, someone's gotta wash them and that someone is me. about it for me today. I feel like I got a lot done. I hope this gives you some motivation for your own unpacking and meal prep for the week as you have vacations and a lot of crazy things coming up this summer. As always, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of my other videos. I have a lot of great stuff coming up. Thank you so much for being here.